As we're all waiting for next week's solar eclipse, we're learning more about this marvel in the stars, including the different types of eclipses that exist. Yeah, meteorologist Chris Mulcahy is boosting your weather IQ. The April 2024 total eclipse is one that you must see because we're not going to see another one here in the U.S. for another 21 years. But did you know there's actually four different types of solar eclipses? The partial eclipse is the most common, accounting for 35.3% of all solar eclipses. These have no umbral path, meaning the sun is never completely covered. The most famous is the total eclipse. This is where the sun is completely covered by the moon's shadow, revealing only the sun's atmosphere known as the corona. The annular eclipse is the second second most common solar eclipse, also known as the Ring of Fire. The U.S. saw one of these in October 2023. The Ring of Fire is technically a partial eclipse, though, because the sun's rays are still getting through. A hybrid eclipse is the rarest, where only 4.8% of all solar eclipses are hybrids. The U.S. hasn't seen one of these since 1930 and won't see another one until 2164. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte. Well, if you want to keep boosting your weather IQ, just take out your phone and scan the QR code. I'll give you a few seconds. I like the music, so that's why. <laughs> well, it'll take you right to the Weather IQ YouTube channel where you can like and subscribe for more insights like this one. And be sure to tune in Monday at 2 for NBC News special coverage of the solar eclipse. That'll be right here on WCNC Charlotte. We'll be here. You're good to be here.